everyone so let's start creating a new landing page so click a button create a new page and instead of doing pre-made templates let's just make custom so we'll call it website and st we'll start editing watch okay loading and uh, let's make the first section uh, make them bigger of course and let's make a background for the background I got a pre-made library and I've got a dark nice smooth background and okay I will stretch it and make it I will tap and default area would be too small for us so I will just make it bigger okay then uh, I choose text area and uh, doing some logo bigger font colors fonts you know you can change everything I used Ubuntu font and let's align it left then the next one oops sorry social media social media let's do it horizontal view and place it on the right side of course we will do alignment the next is I got a nice window so it would be a soft landing page let's align it on the center align all the stuff at the header okay you've got a some kind of small area oops sorry and um, okay let's do it one more time okay perfect <coughs> okay let's do it at the bottom and new title would be great so okay that would be a product site that would inspire us that sounds nice to me okay again let's use it Ubuntu font again and the uh, boulder then the text size would be uh, something like 38 48 okay and we need to basically make it in the two uh, two lines okay and with the white white color okay also align make sure align it to the left side with the logo and let's create a text that would be a text for uh, our next button so let's just call it s so sign up for 30 days free trial <coughs> again line center colors Ubuntu nice perfect that would be nice for me okay let's create a button orange button is nice but let's okay dial it and let's make them you know <coughs> I think red would be totally perfect and I would call it sign up now and uh, of, of course I will use the uh, Ubuntu and uh, what I need is to make a size bigger uh, something like yep that would stand out better okay we need an uh, image for a browser so I've of course I've got a pre-made prepared in Photoshop image so I'll just use it I will use it fitted page so it wouldn't take a lot of place as you can see it's really easy to make it and to manage all the images you can just drag it up and use them okay let's just make a new section <coughs> and I will also start with the background image I've got a nice light background and what I'm gonna do is dial it and stretch it yep so Ambo's got a perfect you know functions like duplicate you can do from your browser duplicates and you can just copy past the title from our previous slide and you know just same styling and apply it so just made the same styling and just made it black and aligned with center well let's just put some small stuff that would make or landing page more stand out I will just duplicate the same text so it wouldn't take a lot of time to me to do it one more time you can see it makes it black and <laughs> not the heck well we need to check out our cool features or something like that 
doesn't matter in this case <coughs> and we need some few icons as well after that so let's just upload some icons I've got a three icons as you can see so let's just put it somewhere here the next one the middle and make sure to align it as well uh, doesn't work <laughs> okay fine doesn't matter really and the third one yep let's just align it on the right okay something is going okay fine yep okay let's just duplicate again as you see it's really fast we just need it to make the font size smaller not the best title but it just show you what exact application can do <coughs> align center it and let's just make it in two lines so it would look better perfect okay we're done with the centering and I'm not sure that the previous font was good so I'll just made it cap looking okay perfect <laughs> of course that took me almost a minute but perfection is the first focus on the in here okay let's just duplicate it and copy to the another ones so you can see we got another section done okay maybe let's make this section a bit bigger and let's place a video that would be just for fun I just like Ricky and okay let's just put it here so we got features we got some intro video for your software I think that would be perfect for our first landing let's create a new section and uh, I think it would be better to use the previous background instead of creating new sections so let's just create a new subsection and we'll, we'll call it something like our customers or clients or testimonials whatever you you want to call it So the title would be what our customers used to say about us. <laughs> For the next one, let's create a avatar image. So it's just like our customers face. You can also put whatever photo or logo. <coughs> and I just put a lorem text to make it more, you know, bigger as a template text oops doesn't work sorry yep that would be nice <coughs> of course don't forget to make it the same style as the other text and that's too small okay we just don't need a lot of that okay perfect <coughs> yep and we need some name who's that okay let's duplicate the same style let's move it down and let's call it Alex Alex Clark yep line left sorry okay fine that's cool and what we need is the best rating so let's just use the star icon do a resize and uh, I think we, we would be fine if I would create two no four stars five that would be too much so you can see I can duplicate two objects at once and align them and what I do next is I'll just select all the elements and just copy paste and that's it I've basically made two testimonials from our clients and that's enough ok 
Okay, then uh, the last part is to create a one more section that will be a footer part. I will just do the same stuff I did previously and just copy paste the whole title with the button. And uh, looks like I forgot to make it tiling. So in the bottom right. Yep. And what's left is just to change a title to something more inspirational, so that would be a final, you know, call to action. So to gather all those clients in one place. So we got a nice button on the top and the duplicate on the bottom. <coughs> Yep, and the final, you know, steps is to create some kind of subtext. That's basically it. We did made a landing page and, you know, basically it's done. Okay, yeah, so we're done. Let's just save our project and let's watch what we got. So let's click preview and uh, it's generating HTML files. As you can see, we got everything as we did. It's fully working. All the buttons, text, social media buttons is working perfectly as well as you can preview a video. It's also working nicely. So perfect. Okay, then just let's go outside to the list of our landing pages. You can always send the landing pages to your customers it's easy so just click download page and you know that's it S you can just send it also by email it's not that heavy as Photoshop files and uh, to make your project online let's just click publish so your link would be generated and you can just start you know advertising your page and yeah guys that's basically it thanks for watching my video